Hello everyone, today we're diving into the world of APIs and why documenting them is crucial. But first, let's break down what an API actually is. API stands for Application Programming Interface. Think of it as a waiter in a restaurant. You, the customer, don't go directly into the kitchen to prepare your meal. Instead, give your order to the waiter, who then communicates with the kitchen and returns your food. An API works similarly. The messenger takes your request to a system and then returns the response to you. Now, why do we need API documentation? Well, imagine going to a restaurant without a menu. You wouldn't know what to order or how to order it. API documentation is like that menu. It tells developers what's available, how to use it, and what to expect in return. Nowadays, the popular standard of API documentation is called OpenAPI, formerly known as Swagger, and is a specification for machine-readable interface files for describing, producing, consuming, and visualizing RESTful web services. In simpler terms, it's a standardized way to document APIs that both humans and computers can understand. However, writing OpenAPI specification documents can be a very tedious task, especially when there are numerous API endpoints. If you use a traditional OpenAPI editor, you'll have to spend a lot of effort dealing with JSON file formats. This is not a visual editing method, which means you need to spend a considerable amount of time learning, making it very unfriendly for novice developers. Next, I will introduce you to a brand new way of generating API documentation that is 100% compliant with the OpenAPI specification while also supporting other API documentation formats. Importantly, it is completely free and visual, and you can quickly generate public API documentation that can be easily shared. APDOG provides a user-friendly interface for creating and maintaining API documentation. It supports various API types, including HTTP APIs, and allows you to define API paths, request methods, parameters, response data, and more. To start using Appadog for API documentation generation, you'll need to sign up for an account if you haven't already. Once you're logged in, you'll be greeted by Appadog's user-friendly interface. Now, you can import the OpenAPI file into Appadog or simply paste the URL of the JSON file to complete the import. Input the project name and confirm endpoints needed to be imported. Wow, a documentation page that matches human reading habits appears. You can modify the API documentation just like editing an online document and no longer need to face obscure and difficult to understand code pages. In APDOG, modifying API documentation can become very easy. You just need to click the Edit button in the API documentation and provide details such as the endpoint's URL, description, and request response details. Now comes the critical part, documenting your endpoints. Epidog makes this process incredibly straightforward. For each endpoint, you can specify the HTTP method, get, post, put, delete, etc. Define request parameters, including their names, types, and descriptions. Describe the expected response, including status codes, response formats, JSON, XML, etc., and example responses. Set the base URLs on the environment management page. Once configured, each endpoint can easily generate client code. This generated code is also accessible on the online API documentation page. I'll demonstrate this feature later in the video. You can add new endpoints, create new endpoint folders, and rearrange the order of interfaces on the left panel. You can use Appadog not only as a place to host API documentation, but also as a debugging tool for endpoints. If the API documentation is ready, click the Share tab on the left sidebar. By publishing online documentation with Appadog, anyone reading this API documentation can make requests and receive response results. Click the Publish button on the left side of the screen to select the environment you want to publish your documentation on. If you want to set passwords for your documentation, click the Password Protected button and enter the passwords you want to use. Click the Publish Right Now button to publish your documentation. 
You can find the URL of your published API documentation on the AppyDog subdomain tab in the Share tab. And you can also see the example that we had added. If you want to modify some basic settings of the web page, such as the title and logo, please go to Basic Settings to make changes. On this page, you can modify the title, logo, favicon, and language. If you want to modify the web page layouts, such as top navigation, top bulletin, and content footer, please click on Layouts and make the changes. Thank you for watching the video. To learn more about useful API features, visit APDog. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more API insights.